I'm gonna go grab NVIDIA Inspector, do a start and finish from a, how to get it to work. Oops. second because I want to put it in my documents. Oh, I got one right here. Awesome. Here it is already installed. Or, excuse me, copied. So, but you just unzip it. There's no installation. Like, this is technically installed just by unzipping it. So, but since I already had one, go back to my documents real quick. I use level 0, level 1, and for some reason mine likes to get cheeky and try to use level 2. So, but uh, it's fine when I use it, so. I did not mess with any of these settings. These are all stock. I have not changed the voltage or the clock sheet or anything. They are all stock. So, with that said, let's close that. Right click on the program itself, create a shortcut, right click on the shortcut, go to properties. And we're going to use this at the end of this. See where it says target area? We put a space and then we copy this into that and hit apply. Now I'm going to drag the shortcut to my desktop and I'm going to hit uh, I go up here and type percent key app data percent key that'll take you to your users app data roaming uh, we want to go to Microsoft Windows uh, where was it start menu programs startup and drop this in there now every time when Windows starts, it'll run this, and it'll restrict it to the settings that we have. Like I said, this is what allows me to play GTA 5, just by doing this. And I'm renaming it and taking out the shortcut because I hate the look of that. So there. But yeah, it all works like that. You're done. You can play anything you want, just on low settings. If you want to mess with it, that's on you. I would not do it. I would not mess with it, because if you start... Uh, overclocking it or start screwing with the voltage or something like that you could ruin your graphics card far beyond what it's doing now so I just leave it on this and as you can see over here 365 I'm recording at 1366 by 768 obviously it's not really working anything doing it but the computer hasn't crashed if I didn't use this I wouldn't even be able to start OBS. It would have just crashed. So, I mean, obviously it's working. So, I hope this helps.